back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Um, you would have seen in a previous video me doing this round placemat. And I'm looking at it thinking, mm, I'm not sure I love the composition. So I just wanted to have a bit of a play. And I'm actually going to do a dip into this. Um, like a reverse flower dip. So I'm going to get a puppy pad and I'm going to use the plastic side of it and lay onto it. But before I do that, I just want to sprinkle a little bit of um, gold onto it. So I'm just using my Montmartre pouring paint gold and I'm just going to do some random squiggles. And then I'm going to get my puppy pad, which I've divided in half, find the center, which is there. Put this down gently. So I'm just doing this just how I normally would do a reverse flower dip to create some beautiful flower shape. I'm just very gently going to tap that down just to smooth it off, make sure there's no air bubbles, which there is. I just saw one coming out then. Just try and get rid of any air bubbles. It's easier if you've got a um, paper napkin or a serviette to do this, but I didn't have anything that was going to be anywhere near big enough. So I'm just trying to get rid of all those bubbles. Otherwise it won't, the paint won't lift there and it will just be the same as it was before I put it down. So I'm just gently, see my hands are still covered in paint. <laughs> okay, a bit of a bubble there but a few so I'm just going to now lift the corners into the middle and I'm really not sure what's going to happen here we are about to find out and bring these up this one up hopefully I'll be able to pull this up in the middle that's the middle about there. And there we go. Well, that's very interesting. It's quite pretty. So I'll just hit that with the heat embossing tool. Didn't quite come out how I expected it to, but um that's okay, it's a little bit different. I'm going to do a flower now in the middle, a bloom. So I've just put the purple down. This is all with the um, Araldo di Piolo pouring paints. So I've just put down the purple and now I'm going to put down Skyway, which is a very pale blue. It's opaque. And then I'm just going to do the turquoise into the center of that. And then some of my Montmartre pouring paint gold around the edge of it. So that when I blow it out, hopefully that will form a lovely gold edge. And then in the middle as well. So I'm not sure that I'm right in the middle there. It looks like I'm a bit skewed, but that's okay. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of the um, Amsterdam Oxide Black Cell Activator in the middle. And then I'm going to blow this out using my um, hair dryer. So this is my hair dryer. It's got quite a narrow aperture on it. And I'm just going to blow it on low um, and on cold. It doesn't matter if you don't have it on cold. If you haven't got one with a cold button, it doesn't seem to make that much difference as long as you don't leave it on there for too long. And I'm just going to try it on low.
Okay, well that's blowing out quite nicely actually. Um, I'm quite liking that hair dryer. I can really control that quite well and that was only a small bloom. Um, so and those colours just look lovely together there with the gold and the um, turquoise and the purple. Okay, so I'm just going to now get a meat skewer and I'm now just going to do some modification to that. So as you can see, it just blows out into the um, where the other colours were already blown out. So it's sort of, I wanted a bloom centre and for it to be like that. Um, it's kind of like that bloom, um, layered bloom effect where you do one bloom and you put another one on top of that and another one on top of that. Only today I'm only going to do the two. So now I'm just going to do some uh, modification just to bring a bit of shape in here. I'm loving the centerpiece here. So these Zeraldo pouring paints have been actually um, really good. Don't haven't mixed them with anything. They're just straight out of the bottle. So for anyone who's new and you're a bit concerned about not knowing how to mix with a pouring medium, you can just literally buy these and um, pour them straight on and get a great result. Don't want to spoil the centre there, so I'm only bringing these through just to the beginning of it. This is just to give the petals a bit of shape. Okay, I think that looks quite beautiful. I love the purple and the turquoise together with that bit of gold. It's really lovely. Shame there wasn't more of the gold over here. But that's just the way it blows out sometimes. So I think um, I'll basically leave that one as is. So I'll now bring you down for a close-up. Well, here we are coming down for the close-up. So as you can see, there's some beautiful cells here with the gold here, lovely lacing. And I just love the way the bloom then runs into the base color that was already down. It's lovely. Off camera, I added a little bit more gold um, because most of it had ended up over this side. And so I just added it and blew it out. I'm into the outer edges there off camera which has come up quite nicely when you are blowing one of these out um, as you're blowing it out if you see that your gold that you've put in the middle has gone all over to one side you can stop and add more gold and then blow that out um, which is perhaps what I should have done um, but you can still add it afterwards as I did and um, it's turned out a really lovely piece so I think this will make a very nice table center piece um, for someone to put all their condiments on or maybe to put a pot plant on or whatever they want to do with it really it could also be hung on the wall okay so hopefully you enjoyed that one today guys and i'll see you back here in studio 33 in the not too distant future until then stay safe bye bye <music>